Kevin Elizabeth, a wedding photographer and bridal boutique owner based in San Diego. And today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how you can get the best possible wedding getting ready photos. If you're not sure what the heck a getting ready photo is, it is the set of photos that are taken the morning of your wedding before you do your first look, your ceremony, basically any other part of your wedding day. So it's all the photos that get taken while you're getting ready. And a lot of people think, well, I don't want getting ready photos, but I really highly recommend that you get some. And there's a good reason for that. And that is because your photographer usually does like to have a little bit of warm up photos. And it is a good time to give your photographer to shoot all of your detail photos, like your shoes, your jewelry, your dress, your wedding invitations, things like that. So it's a nice time to give your photographer to do all of those photos. And it's really lovely to have photos of you getting into your dress and bonding with your bridesmaids or your groomsmen, whoever you have with you. So it's just really nice to have some getting ready photos, but I'm willing to bet if you're watching this video that you do already care about getting ready photos. So let's go ahead and jump right in. The first thing that you need to do to have the best getting ready photos is ensure that your photographer has the best possible timeline. So you want to make sure that you are giving your photographer all the time that they are asking that they need for shooting the best possible getting ready photos. If your photographer is a little bit newer and they have no input that they're giving on the timeline, maybe you should get a little bit involved and give your photographer about an hour to an hour and a half of time to shoot your getting ready and your details before you get into your dress. So have them arrive an hour to an hour and a half before you put on your dress. That is what I would recommend. I usually request an hour and a half because I am really all about my detail photos and I want lots of time to do that. I also want time to take pictures of the bride and her bridesmaids in their robes or their pajamas. And I want padding. I love lots of padding in case things run late, like makeup and hair, things like that. So that's what I would recommend for you. The second is to choose a room with a lot of windows or at least a lot of natural light. If you cannot do this, then I will talk about that a little bit later on what you can be doing instead, but make sure that you are choosing a room with a lot of natural light. Natural light is a really great thing to have for your photos. It's what helps us have the best possible photos. Some photographers will work with artificial lighting for getting ready photos, but I personally prefer to work with natural light whenever possible. And then the next thing that you're going to want to look for is a hotel room with walls that are lighter, unless you want more moody photos, in which case you could choose a hotel that has walls that are darker. Another tip is to choose a hotel that doesn't have a lot of crazy artwork and distracting things on the walls. If it does, make sure that they're removable and they can be taken down. That's another tip that I have for you guys. And then another thing that I would definitely recommend is if you can't get a space like this, make sure that you take your zipping up for your dress photos, take those zipping up photos outside if possible. So go put your dress on so that you're covered up and decent and then walk outside somewhere and then take those photos outside. So that is what I will do a lot of the time. Even if the room is decent, but we have access to go outside, I will walk my bride and the people who she's taking those photos with outside and finish those photos outside. So we've got plenty of natural light and beautiful um, outdoor backgrounds to take those photos in. So I really love doing that for a variety of photos and beautiful light. I briefly interrupt this video to tell you guys about my book, A Bride's Guide to a Picture Perfect Wedding. If you do not have this book yet, it is perfect to gift yourselves to learn a little bit more about how you can give your photographer the perfect canvas to work with for your wedding day to ensure you have a picture perfect wedding. Link down below in the description to learn more about the book and purchase it from Amazon. If you are international, you can purchase it from Etsy, which is also linked down below. There is also a Kindle version available and now we will get back to the video. My next tip is to keep your getting ready room clean throughout the wedding day or at least clean it up before your photographer arrives. Not all photographers keep an eye out for keeping the room clean. So if you have especially a newer photographer or a photographer who doesn't pay attention to this kind of detail, you might end up with photos with water bottles in the background or trash or just food everywhere or even distracting artwork in the background or phones on the table. So make sure that you keep your room clean just in case you're 
your photographer doesn't pay attention or just clean it up and your photographer will appreciate that they don't have to spend valuable photo time cleaning and it's already cleaned up for them and they can just spend all of that time photographing instead of cleaning up after you and your bridesmaids or groomsmen. The next thing that you want to do is to gather up all of your details. Like I mentioned earlier, details are shoes, jewelry, your dress, your invitation suite. Don't forget your invitation suite on the wedding day. It should be photographed because you invested money in it, so make sure you bring it. So gather up all of your details, everything that you want photographed. Don't leave anything out because if you didn't give it to your photographer, how could they photograph it? So gather up all of these things before the photographer arrives so that when they do arrive, you can just hand it off to them instead of gathering all of them while they're there and have them stand around and wait on you. So gather them before they arrive and then that way when they get there, you can just hand it off to them and they can start shooting immediately when they arrive. So that is a big tip for you guys to help them out. The next thing that I recommend is that you gift your bridesmaids really pretty pajamas or robes or something cute that they can wear for getting ready photos. That way everybody looks cohesive and everybody looks really cute in their pictures instead of being in different kinds of clothing, maybe old sweatpants or old pajamas, they don't look as cute, they're not in the wedding colors. If this isn't something that you value, obviously this tip isn't very important for you, but if you really want these getting ready photos to look as cute as possible and as beautiful as possible, then this is a tip for you and it can really serve as a really great gift for your bridesmaids. The last tip I have is to determine who you want in the pictures of you getting into your dress. So whether that be your mother or your sister or every single one of your bridesmaids, if you have like 15 bridesmaids, that might be a little bit excessive if you have a small getting ready space, but make sure that you figure out who those women are. And then you're going to want to make sure that all of those women are in their formal dress, not their robes or their pajamas, but in their formal dress before helping you get into your dress. So they need to hurry up and get into their dress, make sure that they're not wasting too much time standing around, get in their dress, because you're always on the clock on the morning of the wedding, and then they're going to be in that formal dress while helping you get into your dress. That makes for the prettiest pictures so that everybody is in their formal dresses in those pictures, and it is absolutely beautiful. And then also make sure that you wait until you're in your wedding dress to put on any jewelry, perfume, and shoes. Doing that in your robe isn't as pretty as doing it in your dress. So wait until you get into your dress to put on your earrings and things like that. So those are all of my tips for how to have the best possible getting ready photos. Comment down below which one was your favorite and most useful tip. Be sure to subscribe if you are not already subscribed and I will see you guys next week. Bye.